guys just have a question for you today what is a blizzard what is a blizzard well it's actually I don't know if I'd call this a blizzard but um, if you just kind of take a look around it's snowy right just white I mean just completely white it's actually stopped snowing quite a bit now it was snowing a lot more before but uh, you can see here the road the fields I mean everything is just white right so in Canada here we get blizzards so a blizzard just means snow that is blowing I mean uh, right now the wind is not even that strong um, but uh, you know very often here in Canada it's so windy and when it's snowing you know the wind I don't know if you can see it right now but the, the snow is blowing sideways sometimes the snow is blowing completely horizontally you know if there's no wind it, the snow falls nicely down right but uh, you know in uh, it well very often we go through periods of, of, of extreme wind where the snow is just blowing sideways so the snow blows across the road right and uh, you can see you know like usually the wind blows very often from the north so you can see those trees there that kind of block the snow from blowing on this section of the road but you can see I mean as far as you can see right it's just white <laughs> the road is white the fields everything is white so you know very often you can't even see across the street from your house you know you can't even see the the house across the street from you that's called a white out when everything is white all you can see is white that's called a white out okay so you know you know these days we're getting some blizzards here in Canada and uh, it's just it happens every winter every winter we get blizzards right so this is kind of what it looks like what a blizzard looks like you know you can just look out there <laughs> it's just white can't see even where the ground and the sky meet right it's all just white so this is a blizzard right and here in Canada we get blizzards like I said every winter all the time all across Canada it doesn't matter if you live on the east coast or the west coast you're gonna get snow you're gonna get a blizzard now typically on the west coast they get less less you know snowfall um, on the prairies we get a lot of snowfall it's really cold out in Ontario the eastern provinces get a ton of snow as well and uh, so really anywhere you go but people in Canada like to move to the west coast because it's a bit warmer out there in BC right they get spring I mean right now it's uh, it's April it's in April usually in BC um, in April already it's nice weather the, the the cherry blossoms you know you see these tr trees right that's beautiful being in BC in the spring all the cherry blossoms it's it's amazing so if you if you come to Canada you might want to consider going to BC if you want to escape weather like this but you know you'll get some weather like this I've been in BC uh, for the winter you'll have days where it's just like this huge dumps of snow where it'll dump like a meter of snow in just like maybe a 24 hour period it'll dump feet many many feet of snow you, you know you might go to bed one night and it's maybe it's just starting to snow by the time you wake up in the morning there's like this much snow right it's crazy so it's just something you're gonna have to get used to if you come to Canada here um, so guys I just wanted to show you kind of what a blizzard is because you might not be familiar with Canadian weather climate um, you know so just get ready for get ready for some snow and just try not to drive in the um, in weather like this it's dangerous to drive right so I've got a truck it's got a I've got a four-wheel drive truck you know so I can kind of power through roads like this if it's you know <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's hard to see where the road is and that's the thing with a blizzard 
is here in Canada, if you're driving on the highway, you know, and the, wi and the wind is blowing from the side and the snow is blowing across the road, sometimes it feels kind of like you're driving on a cloud. You can't even see where the road is. You're just kind of like hoping <laughs> that you're staying on the highway. Right, so it's uh, that's just something you have to get used to and it's cold. Keep an extra jacket. It, anytime you're driving here in Canada, guys, keep a pair of boots in your car, in your truck or your car. Keep a, an extra jacket, a blanket, some emergency supplies, right? Because if you hit the ditch, and this happens all the time, every, every winter I see hundreds and hundreds of vehicles in the ditch. Okay, so if you're driving and you kind of slide off the road into the ditch, the area beside the roads is called the ditch. Okay, so it, you know, if you hit a patch of ice and you slide into the ditch, well, there's no getting out. When your car is deep, like lodged into the snow, <laughs> you're not getting out. You trust me, you're not gonna get out. You're gonna have to call a tow truck or something like that. Now, fortunately, that's never happened to me. I've never gotten stuck in the ditch. So, either I'm a good driver or I just got lucky. I think I've got, I've just gotten lucky. I'm not a great driver. But, uh, you know, it helps if you have a big vehicle like this. You know, you have a little bit of clearance from the snow and maybe a four, four by four. Cause even snow like this, I mean, this isn't very deep, right? They've already cleared these roads. Probably a few hours ago, they cleared these roads. Now it's a bit of snow again, but uh, even if you had like a normal car to drive in this type of weather, it would be hard. Your car might even get stuck right on a road, normal road like this, it might get stuck. So it's a good idea to have a truck or a, a I don't know, an SUV or something that sits a little bit higher on the road. So you get that clearance from the snow, right? So um, anyway there guys, I just wanted to just kind of show you what a blizzard is. Now the wind is picking up a bit more. So <laughs> it's just so funny. Like just looking at, looking straight out into the blizzard, like it's just white. Right now, this isn't even that bad because you can see trees over there. You can even see some trees over there. So this isn't that bad. It's not a. This isn't a whiteout. When 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 you experience a whiteout, you can't even see like ten feet in front of you. Basically, that's how bad it is. Right? It's just. Uh, yeah, it, it gets. <laughs> it gets really. Uh, the visibility goes down to zero. It's getting a bit chilly guys my hands are hands are freezing off here it's not even that cold out here it's maybe like uh it's maybe minus i don't know maybe like minus five out here and uh but the wind the wind chill adds so much cold that's why guys if you hit the ditch in winter if it's windy, if there's a blizzard, don't don't leave your car. You know, you might think, oh, like, let, let's say you hit the ditch here. Let's just turn on my windshield wipers here. If Imagine if you were to hit the ditch here, you know. Um, oh, that guy's got a nice truck. <laughs> All right, so guys, imagine if you were to hit the ditch right here you might see those trees over there and you might think it's a farm it might be a farm so you might be tempted to walk from here over to those trees over there well those trees might be further away than you think and if it's like minus 10 degrees and the wind is just like super strong you might not make it that far it might be the real temperature, like the wind chill temperature might be like minus 30. It just freezes your face and your hands. If you don't have the proper equipment, you could die, <laughs> right? Like the winters here in Canada, they are, they're dangerous. They're dangerous, okay? So 
try to respect the winter and uh, if you hit the ditch just you know I think the best thing to do probably is to try to call to call someone if you're in danger I mean if you, if you don't have anything like I don't even know what I don't know what you should do in that situation but if you have a phone and you get signal and you can call someone or call for help or something that would be great because you wouldn't want to be stuck overnight in the ditch that would be terrible so don't drive at night in this kind of weather for sure but uh, I would say stay in your car because you know even to walk to those trees you might think well I can walk there in maybe 10 minutes it could be further away than you think and it might not even be a farm maybe there's nobody there or maybe um it could be like a pond or some it could just be a natural bunch of trees right y you don't even know if anybody lives there so once you're away from your car guys it's you're kind of you're just screwed you're just you're just exposed to the elements the wind the snow the ice is just guys it's a it's scary it's a bleak bleak landscape I mean just look at that imagine trying to walk across this field here into the into the white into the unknown like isn't that scary <laughs> it just scares the life out of me so guys that's why I'm in my truck I'll turn on my heater here get some get some heat going but I just wanted to talk about winter and show you what a kind of what a blizzard looks like so this is called a blizzard and if it's extremely white if the visibility is just zero you can call that a white out okay so maybe you didn't know those words um, you will hear those words if you come to Canada all right guys so as always, I love you so much. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and happy in your country. Hope you live in a tropical country where it's like nice and sunny. Here it's uh, it's just a bit too cold for humans to live. I don't know why humans live here. I don't even want to live here. That's how cold it is. But um, guys, if you want to come to this, this godforsaken winter wasteland, <laughs> you are welcome here. You can come here to Canada. Just know that this is what you're getting into. This type of stuff is what you're getting yourself into. So don't say that I didn't warn you. I warned you, okay? This is Canada for many months of the year. We're talking like probably November until May. All right, so that's, a, that's a, at least half the year. Usually it's it's that way. Um, it depends on the year, but, but typically it's going to be really cold. We could have weather like this for six months of the year, maybe even more than six months. Okay. So understand that's what you're getting into when you come to Canada. All right. Anyway, guys, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Let me know where you're watching from down in the comments and, um, as always, I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.